put that on. All right, back to Ocker 009. I've got my headsets on that I've bought to um, try and deaden the noise inside the cab. We went for a drive down to uh, Mandra a couple of weeks ago, and even with all the sound deadening and proofing I've put in, it wasn't quite as quiet as I thought, so I decided to go for these. There's a 24 dB uh, reduction in noise, they're passive. Um, I've got it hooked up as an intercom, so when Julie's in the car we can talk to each other, and I've also got the CB radio hooked up to it as well, so that I'll be able to hear and talk to uh, people on the other end. All I need to do at the moment is to com continue wiring up a press the talk button, and that part is hot to trot. Overhead I've built a console and I've got switches to operate uh, some outside lights that I've put in and I've got some uh, interior lights there and behind me I've got new door lights that I've wired up with new switches onto the door. Um, the original ones there were uh, either stuck or broken or rusted so it was a bit of a mission to pull them out but I've got that done and um, I've also changed all the dash lights as well, uh, they're all incandescent. Uh, replace them with lead lights, a mixture of T5 wedges and some T10s and some other really strange ones. Uh, there were three types of light fittings in there. I've chosen to go with red. Uh, red is a bit easier to see at night time I think. Um, I've changed all the indicator lights as well so um, they're all LEDs. Um, the only one I couldn't change was the battery light. That needed to be an incandescent light uh, because of the charging circuit. Um, the dashboard is pretty much uh, the way it's going to be. Uh, I've got two voltmeters here, uh, one for the spare battery, one for the main battery. They're actually um, sort of linked together at the moment. Um, the controls for the dem demister and um, heater and um, recirculating air are, are broken, mainly because the cables that run to the vents and everything are either kinked or, or uh, seized in the cable. It's not a big job, I'm going to leave it. Um, until we get back from our next trip. Uh, the Ocker actually had the original seats, um, seat covers on. Julie hated them because it looked like an aircraft seat so I've replaced um, the covers with uh, these fake leather things. They're actually not too bad. I've also replaced the seat runners. The seat runners on this side were working but they're a bit um, Actually they weren't working at all, they were held in by screws. The ones on the other side were broken altogether, so I've re uh, replaced those and um, they'll work fine now. I've replaced all the door catches. Uh, nothing wrong with the old ones, they just looked a bit dicky. This is a storage locker just behind the driver's uh, seat and it'll be where we've got oil and stuff like that. All the lights have been put into the, um, into the uh, lockers, run cable and they all turn off and on with the switch on the door. The rear locker is um, messy. Uh, work in progress here. Once again I've got interior lights um, which go off with the door being open. I've changed all the gas struts so um, they actually work properly now. Uh, it is a real mess. Um, I've just got to finish wiring it up and then I'll loom everything and uh, tack it to the uh, plywood so it'll all be okay. I've also got a uh, small winch, it's a 3,000 pound winch and the idea of this is that we can lower and raise the um, uh, spare wheels off the carriers. They come with little Bluetooth uh, wireless controllers, really good, saves a lot of mucking around. At the front of the truck I've replaced all the headlights, I've got new headlights, new spotlights, new indicators. Um, the registration of the other car has come onto here so it's re-registered, it looks like it's ours now. Spotlights but they need to be adjusted, uh, most of that's done. Do have to get some new wiper blades, these or wiper mechanisms, these ones are a bit, um, a bit loose and tatty. And we've got our own little lizards crawling up the side of the truck. Going to where our bedroom is now, or Julie's bedroom, I'll open the door up. Once again, new gas struts, uh, mattresses on, a, on a, bed, a, a bench here now. I've got two drawers, some space in here for uh, camper chairs and table. Um, and we've got drawers out of the old, old Nissan. I've relined those. Um, it's going to be for clothes or whatever Julie decides to put in it. 
Around the back I've got one gravity fed water tap. Passenger side lockers, uh, new, new catches again. Put a new gas strut on here, it didn't have one. Um, all the doors have got lights of some sort. This one is in the door itself. I've also got a light inside the um, space uh, that's behind the back, or under the bed, behind the back of the uh, drawers. Um, that's controlled by a switch inside. I've also got a switch here which will turn power onto the pump. And someone's left that on. So that works. It's a dual switch and it's controlled from inside as well. I'll just go and get a towel to wipe that mess up. Going, going inside now. I love this little thing. Remote control switch. Got um, some sort of storage space here for um, jackets or whatever, hats, uh, towel thing there. We've got cushions for the dog and um, these cushions need to be covered shortly. This is the bed and you can see the lights going off and on. There's also a light on the door for the bed um, and the reason for that is that at night time we can open that hatch up and then we can illuminate the, um, the ground outside. Behind me is the DC panel. Undecided about what to do with this. This is a um, proprietary or a home, well not a homemade, but a specially made uh, metering system. So it's looking at the temperature outside, uh, which is 29 degrees now. It looks at the main and auxiliary battery voltage. Um, there's better ways of doing that these days. And I'm tossing up whether to put some little round LED lights in there because um, it takes up quite a bit of space. The way we camp is not to use uh, any sort of um, cooking utensils inside, so we're going to have a stove out the back. Um, we did decide to put a, a, a sink inside. Um, with the space we've got, the layout, it's really, really difficult to fit anything that's normal there. So I've made up a, um, a bench with a uh, stainless steel bowl, which is just a fruit bowl or salad bowl. Cut a slot in it to put the drain pipe in, and I've used a small tap. Um, to supply water. So the water is um, controlled by a switch, it's a double switch with the uh, outside and um, I can turn the water on and off and there we go, we got water coming inside. And the tap drains outside um, onto the ground. Uh, the only problem with this at the moment, the truck is on a bit of an angle so it doesn't drain 100% of the water out without a bit of mucking around. The bed itself lifts up to provide access uh, down below and the internal light will illuminate. And down the bottom there you can see the uh, inlet for the water and the um, overflow um, from the water tank so that we can actually put water in there uh, via that. This is my little uh, bench that I've made. Um, one side here I've polished with a uh, beeswax. Um, I've just got to do the other side that. And as we look across, you'll see the window that goes outside. It's a bit of an effort to change the fly wire on that, which does need changing. Uh, the fly screen's got security screens on it, and I don't know how to get them off without grinding them off, and I don't want to do that. The window didn't slide very well when we got the truck. There was about 20 years of dirt and sand inside the runners, so I blew all that out, and then I've uh, lubricated the runner with uh, graphite powder, and that smoothed it up a, a whole lot, and now you can use it. Down on the edge of the bed is um, a USB charging port, so for things like uh, tablets or uh, mobile phones we might be using at night time, and there's also reading lights. There's one on each side for each of us to use. I got rid of the oval shaped um, inlets for the cupboards. Thought it was a good idea at the time but I found out I didn't really like it. It was going to be too hard to get stuff in and out and so I've modified it so it's just basically some shelves. Not sure how it's going to go with stuff in there as we're driving along. We'll work that out as we go along. Sort of toying up with the idea of putting a television in the corner. Um, why? Well Every now and again you get stuck inside with it raining outside and it might be nice just to watch something uh, if we can't go to sleep. 
The other part uh, of, that I built is a small set of uh, shelves just here. Once again, we haven't really decided how we're going to use some of this stuff, but at least it's used some of the space. Um, got a towel hook here for one of the towels. Above the fridge, we've got another um, another shelf we can use for uh, storing stuff. We've got so much storage, it's not funny. Uh, I've run a couple of 12 volt DC cigarette lighter style plugs, and the purpose for those is so we can put some 12 volt ovens in here, uh, uh, like the ones you buy from Dick Smith. Um, and if we want to travel, we can cook some pies and pasties in those. Just looking at the cab from the back, when I say we've got so much storage, even inside, we've got more storage underneath there. Uh, the plywood on the side is what goes to the outside where I've got the oil container. I haven't really kept any records of cost. I know the truck cost us $47,000 and there was a, another $10,000 for getting the air conditioner and the um, uh, mechanical side sorted out. Cost me two or two and a bit thousand dollars for the lining of the um, inside of it. Um, and remember, I had to strip everything out because the floor was absolutely rotten when we got it. Um, it's given us the opportunity to, to lay the thing out a bit differently as well. Um, I've spent hundreds and hundreds of hours on this at the moment, just doing wiring and uh, building things and making stuff for it. Uh, Bunnings has probably got rich out of me. Um, I don't know how many thousands of screws I've put in here. Um, and wiring from J-Car. Oh, bought so much stuff from J-Car, it's not funny. Uh, we're really looking forward to it. Our first trip is away. We're planning is uh, to uh, a secret spot that we found a couple of months ago, sort of a, a little bit west of Bullfinch. Uh, we'll be going out there for a few days and having a bit of a cruise around and um, seeing how this thing actually goes in the bush. Uh, that'll be the test of the design inside. If we've made mistakes, um, we've got the opportunity because it's all wood and it's all screwed together. I can unscrew it and remove it and rebuild it.